spent campaign and awareness for non-violence election and credible election in Anambra State. Where every vote must count in the coming election in Anambra State. We have a duty. Our duty is to educate our people. Our duty is to carry the message to all the nooks and crannies of Anambra State to tell our people that no violence. No violence. No violence. No violence. No violence. Abuana violence. I give we are to. Then the whole Puriki we are saying no Puriki. Every vote must count in an state. We are saying that the election in an must be credible where the people must decide who their governor is not by any mago mago not by any wuru wuru ndanambara achoro no nye ga achi ha ga abo nye ha ma okwe zi oku ha ga ezi aka ha kwo nye ga achi ha today I am happy. When you watch here, Nukuma the money has to have a I came in with a very prominent man, a very prominent Igbo son. But you could see that the policemen that you saw around us were the police officers that were here with you at the venue. I did not come with any policeman, no security, no escort. Chief Okay Zemwa did not come with any security, so also all of us here. Because, one, we are enjoying security today in Anambra, therefore we do not want violence in the election. We want every man and woman in Anambra State to feel free and come out and exercise your franchise by voting for the candidate of your choice in the election. No intimidation. Nobody can intimidate you. Nobody can intimidate our people. That is our message. We want our people to come out freely and cast their votes. Our youth no violence if you want a candidate of your choice campaign for him canvas for him if he wins you rejoice if he loses you join the winner for the betterment of anambra <laughs> under non-violence We admonish all political parties to ensure that they ensure that they refrain from any act or activities that may trigger violence. Because a political party that goes to manipulate the process is an invitation to anarchy. It's an invitation to violence. Therefore, political parties, while you are free to conduct your business as you wish, remember, it must be within the ambits of the law. You must follow your own constitution. You must abide by the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as well as the Electoral Act. Otherwise, your acts or actions or inactions will amount to invitation to non-violence. And that is where we come in. We will say no to you. Yeah. 
If you know, as a political party, you are aware that someone is not qualified under the laws to contest the election, and you are making an effort to impose the pe person on the people, it's an invitation to violence, and we are saying no to you. There was a time I wrote one letter to some of them. I said, like our leader, the late Dim Chukwe Mekod Mebojuku, Edi Boburuburu, said in his book titled, I Am Involved. I told him I'm involved. My children go to school in Anambra State. My family lives in Anambra State. Any little thing that I have labeled for in life, I have it in Anambra State. Therefore, politics or no politics, I want security in Anambra State. <laughs> there must be peace and security for political parties even to function. We are here today if there is crisis in Anambra, we cannot gather here today. That is why we are in agreement with our brother, one of our leaders, the erudite professor, the Odeni Bofi Boland. We are in agreement with him that it is not broken. We are here gathered preaching non-violence and we are after today we we'll commission all of you to go back to your wars and communities to continue to preach non-violence because it is not broken. If it is broken, we won't be here. We want to commend in a special way the Inspector General of Police for giving up a wonderful team of police officers in Anambra today. The present commissioner of police in Anambra, what's that his name again? Omar. And his team, they are wonderful people. You could call on the commissioner of police in Anambra. Anambra is a quorum in We are appreciating the inspector general of police for posting such a matured man, such a professional, and such a dedicated man to Anambra. And we are requesting that this CP will not stay like others. We wouldn't want to hear tomorrow that he has been transferred outside. We want him to consolidate what he's doing in Anambra. The same goes to Director General of the DSS for the wonderful team led by Yakubu, he gave us in Anambra. The synergy we have today among security operatives in Anambra, also supported by the government of the day, it has never been this good in Anambra before. We appreciate them and we ask them to continue. Ours is to continue to pray for them that God will continue to guide them. God will continue to protect their families as they continue to protect our own families in Anambra, in Jesus' name. So the message we are talking to every world and every community is that no violence. After today, and before we close here today, we shall tell each and every one of you the day the train is coming to your world, to your community, to your local government. Can KB Jele where why? Going straight to the other leg. Ono malo ne masimu adi kia bana adia. Obi ni ana ni adi mu adi ekuia. Onya na sini na bosi sini eti nebera ono ni ya. I don't know when they're not.